Hello, it's me, Mayo Hosco, and welcome to my channel. Hello, it's me, Mayo Hosco, and I am happy to report that the Lego Power Functions battery boxes, like the ones used for the heavy haul train, I can't remember the number, but if I just scroll over here, you can see that this is the heavy haul train is set 60098. I am happy to report that these Power Functions battery boxes do you are um, able to use rechargeable ball batteries. So I'm using these Energizer recharge batteries. And I'm using this Energizer NIMH battery charger that can be used for double A's and triple A's. And you want the proof? If I get my Power Functions remote control, which I have attached to my powered up remote control with Technic pins. You can see that the wheels are moving. So, for all those that might be scared that rechargeable battery batteries are not comparable with LEGO power functions because of they might be a different size or uh, the contacts, the plus and minus contacts might be different with rechargeable batteries. At least if you use the Energizer, we re recharge batteries, I'm not sure about Duracell, they are compatible with LEGO power functions. So just letting you know that you can use rechargeable batteries with LEGO power functions. Anyway, this is an information video. Thank you for watching. Black Friday. You may have seen this set in a previous Mayo Hosco video, but I found this for 33% off on Black Friday, so I bought another one. This is Lego set 60198 Cargo Train, and this is from the Powered Up Lego keeps naming these cargo train sets cargo train so what us lego fans like to do is we like to distinguish these cargo train sets by the color of the locomotive the red cargo train back in 2011 was actually called red cargo train the cargo train from 2010 we like to call the yellow cargo train the cargo train from 2014, we like to call the blue cargo train. The cargo train from 2003 in the 9 volt era, we like to call the green cargo train. The cargo train from 2016, that had a similar style of locomotive to the locomotive of the yellow cargo train, was actually called heavy haul train. So that was nice that Lego didn't just call it a generic cargo train. Wouldn't it be great if they actually sold just a pack of straight tracks? Because we can never get enough straight tracks in any type of train, whether it be Lego trains, whether it be wooden trains, whether it be model trains, 
You name the type of train, we can never get enough straight track. So that's why it's really annoying when Lego bundles in straight track with curved track. Anyway, despite my grievances against the way Lego has handled their train theme by not even acknowledging that it is still a theme anymore and just bundling it in with Lego City, unlike, unlike what they used to do in the 80s and the 90s with the 12 volt and the 9 volt trains, where in the catalogs, if you look at the catalogs, it was actually classified as a separate theme. But despite all of that, I'm still really happy. I was able to get this set on Black Friday for 33% off. Price matched by Target to the same price as Amazon. Me and my friends were playing Lego soccer this weekend, so this is a mini teaser that you can expect to see more Lego soccer videos. And everyone likes a good running session. Mesmerizing, isn't it? When I start rebuilding my Lego city over this Southern Hemisphere summer, you should expect to see videos about my rebuilding of my Lego city. So this is a teaser for those videos coming out in January and February, maybe early March when I get back to university. But when I go back to university in March, unfortunately there might not be a lot of new content I'll be working on but I'll be sure to schedule a bunch of content that you guys can watch during March, April, May of 2020 until I go on my semester break. Yes, I know this hopper truck did not come with this set, but I think it looks rather good on this powered up green cargo train. I've also made this train motor on a basis that I will that I will be using to customize for uh, tenders of future mock steam locomotives and possibly even some short non bogey diesel shunters and this is using the power functions hopefully I can make more of these in the future so I can have a bunch of these that I can put shells over so, look forward to that content. Anyway, there's lots of teasers in this video, and I hope you look forward to seeing those videos in the future.